Hi guys, Mrs. Mitchell here. We're going to start a new unit today, and I'm going to teach you a very specific way of drawing that's called one point linear perspective. Now, before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the bigger picture, about some of the things that that means, uh, not just in art, but in our lives too. On the very first page of the slides, or maybe it's the second page, uh, I put a list of vocabulary terms. One is perspective at the top, and right underneath that is point of view. Now, I separated them because we use them a little bit differently. However, they pretty much mean the same thing in a more general sense. Have you heard the term point of view before uh, or perspective? Um, maybe you've heard your parents saying, well, let's look at this from a different point of view, or let me put this in perspective for you. Maybe you've heard it in an ELA class where your teacher has talked about uh, a book being told from a, one character's point of view or one character's perspective. When the terms are used like that, they're basically interchangeable. We can use them the same. They mean the same thing. They mean seeing the world in a particular way or from a particular point. Now, in life and in literature uh, and even theology, what that means is that our experiences and our position, where we are at, quite literally and figuratively, determines what we see and what we know about the world around us. And so if we look at our, our if we look around and we say, my experience is uh, I have a loving family, um, I eat a good dinner, my parents help me with my homework, um, and then I go to bed after reading some books. And we sort of think everybody's experience is, is alike that way. Um, but other people have different experiences, right? We all have friends and we know that they come from different places. So they're going to look at the world and look at life in a different way. Um, Madeline LaEngle, have you read any of her books? She wrote A Wrinkle in Time um, and Swiftly Tilting Planet and a couple of others that are, are really good. If you haven't read them yet, really, that's, that's something to put on your list for the next couple of years. Uh, she said one of the most interesting things in a radio program about perspective and point of view. She said, we all have a point of view. We all look at the world coming from a particular place. I have a point of view, you have a point of view. And then she said, and this is very important, God has view. God doesn't have a point of view. He doesn't come from one particular place and look at everything. Because he's eternal, because he's everywhere and knows everything, he has view. It's, it's not bound to one area. And that's a very important distinction. Because when we talk about point of view, we're saying all of our experiences are different, right? They shape us in different ways. We see the world differently because of it. But it's limited. We only see one small portion. And so to say that God has view instead of point of view, it says that God is not limited by anything. He's not limited by experiences. He's not limited by his position in the world or a physical place. He has complete view. But we, as humans, living in flesh, living in time, we have a point of view. We are in one spot. Now, in art, it's very much the same thing. Your point of view is literally what you see from one spot. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I want you to take a minute. I want you to just turn and look around wherever you happen to be right now. So look up from the computer screen, um, look, at, look at the room around you, and I want you to pick one thing and look at it. And I want you to stare at it for a second and really fix it into your mind. Now, do you have it? Okay, what I want you to do is now I want you to stand up, still looking at that one object, and I want you to take three steps in any direction. Just it can't be towards the object necessarily, but maybe to the left, or to the right, but I want you to change your position. Now, what do you see? The object looks a little bit different, right? You're seeing it from a different point of view, a different perspective, a different place. And so the object is going to look ever so slightly different. You might see it from ab above a little bit 
or from below a little bit, uh, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and it changes how everything looks just slightly, but enough that it would make it difficult to draw if you kept changing your point of view, if you kept changing your perspective. So in art, point of view is very important. Now, in the Renaissance, there was an artist whose name was Leon Baptiste Alberti, and he wrote a very important book. And he is the first person who wrote down the rules of perspective, this idea that we can look at things and create a sense of space, of being able to walk into a painting and have it look like the real world, uh, that it's not flat, that it, it, and the, what he used was perspective, or what we call linear perspective. Now, over the next couple of weeks, we are going to make a couple of different drawings and do some exercises on how to do this. The materials that you're going to need are going to be paper, pencil, and a ruler, and an eraser, but that's pretty much it. Okay, 